people aren't gonna understand YouTube until they do YouTube. Once you do it, there's no denying it. So that's up to us to express that to people. It's up to the people that understand the potential, that are experiencing the potential in their everyday lives of open behavior, of listening, of, of saying what you think. It's up to us to spread that concept out into the real world. The real world. This is the real world. YouTube is, is very much the real world. It's, very, it's just as real as everything else. Maybe more. No, it's impossible. It's just as real as everything else. You know what? It's more real because it's open. It's completely genuine for me. It's become that. And it's addicting. That feeling is addicting. That's why we get into relationships is because we're addicted to that feeling of being open with another person. And here it's kind of like you don't have to have another person to do it. Like YouTube is your relationship. And it is. I was going to say it's not. But the truth is, it is. It's not sexual, and there's no human contact, but this is the evolution of communication. This is the evolution of relationships. There's a reason humanity is, is, is building the internet and video communication is because we all want it. We all want to be able to plug in to this, con this, this combination of other people. It's, you know, God, it's crazy. Now, that being said, the one-on-one -on -one relationship really is, I think, the ultimate. Just one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have to be in the same room, but one-on-one -on -one dialogue. I'm getting kind of lost. You don't have to be in the same room. Like, you can do video chat on MSN. Unfucking believable Or you can sit in the same room with someone and talk, and that's unfucking believable What's better? I don't know. Seems kind of the same. It's different. It's not the same. It's very different. But it's got a lot of similarities. Like the important stuff that we get out of a one-on-one -on -one interaction when we're in the same room, that's captured in the video. It's the communication that's important. It's not touching. I mean, it's cool to be hanging out. I like hanging out with people, but, you know, I like video chat. I really like it a lot. If you haven't done it yet, start, get it, get on it. Uh, I'm on MSN and Yahoo and all that, so if you want to video chat with me, let me know. It's fun. I video. I, I talked to Chad last night. I talked to Terry and Echo and Eric. I talked to Steve. Cool, cool Steve, Stevo. I think it's just cool Stevo. It's a Coolio Stevo. But he he won't get a uh, a, a video camera yet. It was just uh, me talking and him typing. It was kind of cheap. Steve, did you get the video camera yet? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That all being said, communication. <laughs> so it's up to us on YouTube. I want to I bring it back to what I was this point I'm making about it's up to us to, to bring this into the, the real world. And I just met this guy, Mark, earlier at the restaurant. He came in on Saturday, and I waited on him. And he came in again today when I was getting out of work to get some lunch. And um, we, he was like, hey, hey, you waited on me on Saturday. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And we started talking, we talked for like an hour and a half. Just had amazing, like genuine, I, I call, I think of it as groundbreaking. The word I want to say is groundbreaking and I censored myself. It was groundbreaking conversation because it's like, I didn't know, I don't know him. I didn't know him. I didn't, I know him now. I didn't know him and, and he, I waited on him and that was it. I was a server, but you know, we broke that fucking, that, that barrier. We were at the restaurant that we met at, and we broke that social barrier of waiter, patron. And it was, it was groundbreaking, because that's something I think is something people, when, in terms of their job, people are very nervous about being themselves at their job, because we feel like if you do that, you'll get fired. Now, I don't think so. I think if you commit to being yourself at your job, you'll, you won't get fired. No one will fire you. They'll only want to keep you around more. Even if you break the rules, even. Rules are fucking bullshit. Rules exist as a general idea of what to follow for the masses. But in, on individual levels, people break rules all the time, every day. Everybody does. You can't follow the rules all the time. 
So if you're yourself and you're genuine, hell, you can be someone that gets to make the rules and shape the rules. And now all of a sudden you're a leader, even though you might just be, you know, have a low position at your job, you can still be a leader at the job that people, a leader is someone that people listen to. Not the boss. So yeah, yeah, be, be yourself at your job. That's what I've been doing with my, with my new job with, at Dusty's. I'm nervous that I just said that out loud. That's what I was thinking. Should I edit that out? Personal information? I'm afraid. But why am I afraid? I'm afraid because people... I don't know, what do you think? Like, if someone knows where I work, are they gonna come find me and try and kill me? Is that how the world works? Are people... Do people get that angry? Or do people not care? I don't know, man. I, I hear both sides. It's like I hear from people like, be afraid, be afraid. Don't, don't say who you are. But then at the same time, I'm not, I'm not here to hide myself. I'm not getting online to lie or to hide information about who I am. I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this YouTube because I just, I wanna connect with everyone in the world. Yeah, fuck it. <sighs> fuck it, fuck it. Words to live by. Somebody, this one guy, uh, What's his screen name? I get so mad that I say the word fuck in every video. Dude, if you're watching this, who gives a fuck? <laughs> who cares? Who cares how you speak? It doesn't matter. Only society tells us that cuss words are bad. Swearing is wrong. It's just a word. They're words. They don't mean anything. It's self-expression. Let people express themselves however they want. And don't ever let it upset you because it has nothing to do with you. And express yourself however you want. Don't ever be afraid. That's what I say about swearing. Fuck it. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. That's what makes this world so great, is that, that we people do that. And the more people do it, the more people express themselves, the better. Because then we don't do things, we don't get violent. Violence comes from suppressing expression. People don't express themselves through murder. People suppress their emotions and their feelings for a long time, and then they end up murdering someone out of anger. Don't suppress what you think. Don't suppress the way you are. I won't either. Let's make a deal. I won't do it if you don't do it. And if you don't do it, I won't do it. And that's pretty much the way the world works. So I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it any, at all. I'm always looking for ways to stop doing it. So anyway, I met this guy, Mark. I told him about YouTube when, at work. I told him about YouTube and uh, I, I wrote down my, my my page, my web address, and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. And I thought, oh. And I've always thought about doing this with people I know, but I never really get around to writing it down. I don't take that extra step to write out the information and give it to them. I just kind of talk about it. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely check that out. So I wrote it down, and he, hopefully, Mark, you'll be watching this video. So hey, what's going on? It was good to talk to you earlier. We'll definitely hang out soon. Um, yeah, yeah, write it down and give it out to people. If you're, if you're doing videos, and if you're not doing videos, start doing videos. Okay, this is, gosh, this is going on a long time. I'd rather just get it all into one video. Um, so Anthony, your video, the reason I'm gonna respond to your video with this is because it was, it was quite inspirational. I'm glad, thank you for responding because you're right. It's not worth getting stressed out about. It's not worth letting the obsession take over. But at the same time, you know, you can't be, get upset about anything. You can't, you can't let it upset you. You just have to enjoy what it is rather than get pissed off about what it's not. 
and specifically I'm talking about YouTube, we just have to be so happy with what we have, this YouTube, this, this, this technology, let's enjoy it, let's not get upset, I, I'm not going to get upset about what it doesn't have yet, or what, it, what it's not capturing, because that'll come in time, and if it, you know, it'll never be real life, it'll never be human interaction, that's what this is all about. So okay, I'm gonna keep doing it. Spread the YouTube, <laughs> spread this uh, the websites. I'm gonna start writing them down. Hey, maybe I'll get business cards made. I was thinking about doing that. I have cards made, but it's just got my email address on it and my name. It's like a, a headshot of mine. All right, see you guys.